It's Freaky Friday, February 8th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki, and this is Playbook TV. Just after I posted yesterday, Mitt Romney announced before a stunned crowd of conservatives at CPAC that just like that, his running days was over. Romney suspended his campaign, but as Politico reports, he could well run again in 2012. I guess that means that both he and Ann Coulter are now polling for Hillary Clinton. In his concession, Romney focused on the dangers of a Clinton or Obama presidency, saying they would retreat from Iraq and therefore cause attacks on America. He then said that if he stayed in the race, the Republican divisiveness would make it easier for Clinton or Obama to win, and therefore he had to drop out because he couldn't let his campaign be a part of aiding a surrender to terror. So his choice was either drop out of the race or Islamic terrorists take over the world. Yeah, I guess on balance he made the right call. By dropping his presidential bid, Romney heroically struck perhaps the most decisive blow yet against the Islamo-fascists in the war on terror. All the Al-Qaeda operatives who apparently were cheering on his campaign are now left cowering in fear. You know, Romney has said in the past that he wished he'd served in the military. I guess that not running for president is the next best thing. Furthermore, President Bush and former RNC Chairman Ken Melman have given their blessings to McCain. Bush told CPAC that the nominee would carry forward the conservative banner and Melman released a statement praising McCain's character. Both men signaling that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Republicans, the ones they tried to destroy in South Carolina back in 2000. But does Romney's departure mean that McCain is the surefire nominee? Not so fast, saith Mike Huckabee who has vowed to continue his quixotic quest for the White House, even if that means he'll be sitting in the vice president's office instead. ABC's George Stephanopoulos points out that to claim victory, Huck would have to win basically every delegate in the oncoming primaries, but ridiculously long odds and media ridicule have never stopped Huckabee before, and so far, he's been right not to listen to the critics. Plus, he's now got the endorsement of evangelical leader James Dobson, and even if Huckabee is just on a happy-go-lucky cross-country journey with no money and a limited grasp of reality, at least he didn't spend his entire life Life savings turning his van into a poodle. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash playbook for more stories, including some potential Republican vice presidential picks beyond Huckabee. And don't worry, after I asked you for Ron Paul sandwich suggestions on yesterday's show, I got a lot of good ideas, but James McClister's idea was my favorite. And so if I ever mention politician sandwiches again, Ron Paul supporters will be called Paulinis, like a panini, right here on Playbook TV.